Bible readers will tell you that one day Jesus was told that John the Baptist has just been beheaded. I mean, his cousin, the guy who announced his coming, had just been beheaded. His head was given on a platter to someone who asked for it. The very next statement is the one that I really want to dwell on today because at times as a visionary, you will be discouraged because of the misunderstanding that you're going through in your life by your friends and by your loved ones. And if you're not careful, it is easy for you to get discouraged, dissuaded, and even to dump the vision altogether. The Word of God says, the Bible says that Jesus went and continued doing the work that he was called to do after hearing that John, that John the Baptist had been beheaded. In the podcast, I want us to continue discussing you as a visionary. What do you do when you are misunderstood by friends and loved ones? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. All right, let me give you a quick recap on these episodes we've been doing. This is the fifth episode, I believe, where we are addressing you as a visionary. You've been misunderstood by starter school, and I've told you that starter school is always going to be something that you're going to rise up above as a visionary because it maintains everything to be the same, maintains things not to be disturbed, nothing new, just maintain how things have always been done. We've always known this, we've always gotten this, and that's how it's going to be. So as a visionary, you rise up and you hear something different in your spirit, something different in your mind, something different in your heart that tells you, I need to paint. I need to do DJing. I need to sing. I need to do spoken word. I need to do poetry. I need to do designing. I need to play an instrument. I need to maybe go for nursing instead of being a teacher. I need to do... Basically, you're being told to rise up by something that is inside of you, embedded inside of you. And as a visionary, you're listening to it and the people around you who you expected to help you are actually thinking that you're going against the grain, you're going against the start of school, it should not fly, and they start opposing you, they start isolating you, and they start doing different things, and you get disillusioned as a visionary. What do you do? First thing that we said you need to do is to go back to God and talk to God. Why? Because I believe God is the one who put that vision inside of you. It don't come from the devil. It don't come from the universe. As people normally say, it don't come from your spirit and your heart. It is God who placed it in there. And I've always said that I believe that your vision, your mission, your purpose is something that is older than you. In other words, there was that mission, there was that purpose, and then you were created to go and serve that vision and that purpose. That is what why you are equipped the way you are equipped that is why you can speak the way you can speak that is why you have that that compassion the way you have that compassion for those people for children and not for women for men and not for women you see that's why you are different in that way because you were crafted to go and to serve in that area which means your vision is greater than yourself or it's longer i mean it's older than yourself so god made that vision first or he had that vision or that idea first and then he had you to fulfill that idea. It doesn't mean that you are subservient to the vision. It means you're that important to 
God. See, so talk to God when you're being misunderstood. The second thing that you need to do is to go back and clarify this vision of yours. Not for the idea that you're going to, you know, argue with people and debate with people and win debates. People will not get your vision no matter how you debate with them. I have seen people. Let me tell you, this world is filled with people who are debaters, especially theoretical ones. I have seen people opposing me on something I have actually experienced. And they are telling me off. And we go head to head on discussions and, you know, debates here and there. I try to make them to see my point of view. I have experienced it. But they are dis, I mean, refuting it and saying that it doesn't exist. It's not there. You will never win people through debates, especially with your vision. Vision is something that is spiritual and is normally caught. So when you're misunderstood, you go back to clarify the vision, to fortify the vision in your spirit and in your heart. Not for the purpose of debating and convincing people, but for the purpose of having that inspiration solidify in your spirit and in your heart. The third thing that you need to do when you are misunderstood as a visionary is to talk to uncle. Find someone who understands you and also understands the people that are opposing you. So that person can become a sounding board. They can become the one that puts you know, their hand over your shoulders or they give you a shoulder to lean on or a chest to cry on and they support you morally and whatever it is they do. Maybe an uncle, an aunt, a coach, even mom or dad against these other guys who are coming up against you. So find someone of that nature and talk to them because if you don't, it's not easy for you to continue. So find someone who is able to give you that necessary support and that listening ear and is able to bridge the gap for you and make things easier at least in terms of making people to understand you and also to give you the support that you do need. Today in the podcast, we're going to discuss something else that you need to do as a visionary when you're being misunderstood by your friends and by your loved ones and when you're going against the grain, against the status quo and it's, you know, insurmountable and you're feeling like you're alone feeling like you're left behind, feeling like you're isolated and so on. The thing that you need to do after you've done all those things that I've mentioned up up there, you also need to make sure that you protect your routine. Remember the routine of Jesus Christ? He has a John the Baptist, his cousin, has been beheaded. What does he do? For the most part, people will be scared and people will, you know, retreat and, and so on and so forth and stop doing what they were doing. But this guy does the exact opposite. He goes on and continues healing people, continues delivering people, continues preaching, whatever he's up to. Basically, he continues with the vision. Maybe he does not accelerate it, he does not decelerate it, but he keeps on with the routine. He keeps doing what he was born to do or what he was called to do. He keeps it moving. So when you are misunderstood, by your friends and by your loved ones one of the things that is easy for you to do is to drop the ball and you know sit by yourself and feel sorry by yourself and maybe go back to the drawing board and start trying to doing something else and feeding in and so on and so forth or maybe just go on a pity party and uh, want to be pitied by people or want to be i don't know do what it is easy for you to lift yourself off of the vision lift yourself off of yourself off of the purpose off of the passion that you had because something has gone wrong because you've been misunderstood or because you've been opposed but that would be wrong the fifth thing that you need to do is to protect your routine protect your routine what you used to do keep doing if i wanted to mess up with your life you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to mess up with your routine. I'm going to scratch your routine. And your identity is in the routines that you have established for yourself. Basically, your own kind of status quo that you've developed for your own vision and for your own purpose pursuit. So protect that routine by all means possible. See, the result of a misunderstanding can easily throw you out of the rails, out of balance, off of balance. And the thing that you need to protect a daily thing, the thing that you need to protect basically with all your life is what you do daily. 
do not let any intimate opposition so to speak cause you to drop your daily routine your progress is found in that daily routine your identity is found in that daily routine your achievement is found in that daily routine your momentum your consistency the fruition of the vision and of the purpose that you are on is not sporadic it is something that is done on a daily basis so daily is key and anything that comes to fight your daily scratch your daily or maybe create inconsistencies and create a lull here and a drop there that is something that you need to fight with all the life that you have nothing is more destabilizing to a visionary than to lose your focus to lose your mojo to lose your drive to lose your momentum and to lose your consistency so don't be stabilized i think every time as a visionary you find that your routine is being messed up your routine is being disrupted your routine is being disrupted that is the moment in time that you need to know that your life is actually on the line your identity is actually on the line your vision is on the line your purpose is on the line every time it is being disrupted you need to rise up and restore your quote unquote status quo no matter what and protect it with all that you have got because at the end of the day if you have got to change you would rather change into something else and also start a routine around the new thing that you are doing so why are you being disrupted are you being disrupted because people are going to do something new for you or you're going to start doing something new or you're just going to be disrupted because people are misunderstanding what you're doing the question will be okay fine they are misunderstanding you they are not following through with what you are doing they are not getting you they are not supporting you they are isolating you so what do you do you stop doing what you are doing so that you can feel wanted feel understood feel accepted feel not isolated what do you do in its place what do you replace your routine with that is the biggest question your routine should never be messed up should never be misunderstood should never be interfered with at all costs that is what you need to protect nothing nothing is more destabilizing nothing is more destabilizing than losing your mojo losing your focus and losing your drive so keep that thing no matter what and if you see that that is what is being messed up with unless there is a substitute and by the way there is a problem even with having the substitute there could be no substitute to your vision there could be no substitute to your purpose unless there is something higher than it that's what i should say unless there is something higher to do than your purpose something higher to do than your pursuit something higher to do than what you're passionate about then there is no point of living there's no point of spoiling your routine or messing up with your routine so that you can fit in so that you can be understood it will be great to especially protect your non negotiables those things that you know if you're a preacher the non negotiables are around you're reading your word reading the word of god and praying probably praying in tongues or something like that just to prepare yourself and make sure that you're sharpening the soul every single working day as a visionary you are sharpening the soul with your non negotiables so every time a misunderstanding threatens your non negotiables guess what if you give in if you give up then your identity and your purpose and your passion and your vision and everything else that you're pursuing comes into disrepute comes into danger and that is how you start disintegrating and deteriorating from the vision before you know it you have fit in and you are as average as anybody else who wanted you to be average the thing with this is that you seldom get visionaries destabilizing other visionaries the guys that normally destabilize you are guys without a vision guys without a purpose guys without a passion 
they are the ones who can easily come to disrupt you and destabilize your pursuit and your routine so protect your routine with everything you have got because growth is in micro units when you're doing your routine today you will not see the growth when you're doing it tomorrow you will not see the growth but it's there it is stored it is micro it is in small tiny units that need to be upped every single day until a big force is created in terms of the momentum that comes out of it protect your routine at all costs tomorrow we we'll discuss something else but until then bye bye A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.